China is urbanizing at an unprecedented rate. If current trends continue, close to 1 billion Chinese will live in cities by 2030. Government plans to expand the urban population by at least 200 million in the next decade will transform millions of poor peasants into modern-day urbanites. Leaving the farm and relocating to the city can mean access to higher paying jobs, but it can also mean a new life of hardship in unfamiliar surroundings. If Beijing wants its urbanization plans to succeed, it will need to convince peasants like Mr. Wang that making the leap to urban life will bring with it economic security and not just more choices. One of the most interesting parts of this crisis has been that the American banks, the American consumer, both of whom were at the epicenter of the crisis back in 08, five years later look to be on much sounder footing than you would have thought. As of now, the banks have stopped bleeding. House prices have started to rise. Inflation has never reared its ugly head. Unemployment is at least less bad than it was. And of course, stock prices have more than doubled from their lows. This is Ely Cathedral near Cambridge, a place of such surpassing and transcendent beauty, an almost perfect marriage between art and religion that it seems inconceivably barbaric that anyone should want to mutilate or desecrate it. And yet, the ultimate backhand compliment to the power of art is to want to break its spell by breaking its fabric, and that is exactly what happened here. And here. Is it inconceivable that she would actually choose to govern in a, in a tiny minority? Well, my experience of German politics, and I was there a, a student uh, back in the 70s, remember Willy Brandt you know, hanging on. They don't like in the new post-war German democracy to have governments which are vulnerable to votes of confidence. They like stability. So I think it's much, much more likely that she'd want a coalition. Is the reasonable expectation that we're going to have continuity, whatever, and the party, and the party that will dominate will continue to be Angela Merkel's? Well, I'm tempted to reply in German, Continuität über alles.